So we are at the port looking for the boat, which is not here yet. So I guess we'll get to see it come in. If all goes well, mm -hmm. you'll just simply climb aboard the vessel be from the side of the boat as they bring her down. Okay. But sometimes, if the boat's moving really fast and the loadmaster's working really quickly, the boat ends up down on the side of the ship and then the crew members aboard the ship have to lower a Jacob's Ladder in and you have to climb down it. Now, if you're lucky, you get the Jacob's Ladder that has the stabilizing rod in it so it can't just free swim. Uh-huh. If you're me, <laughs> You get the one without that rung, and as you get to the bottom, it just starts free swinging on you. Oh, fun, <laughs> fun, okay. But the good news is, once you get to the bottom and board the boat, you can hold it for your crew member climbing down at that point so they don't experience life and death. Uh-huh, did you hear that, honey? <laughs> <laughs> This current crazy world has made you want to sail away with us. Check out our website, sailtsb.com, for more info. And you're going to want to hit that subscribe button and bell. It doesn't cost you a dime, and at the pace we put out videos, it won't annoy you either. Hey, this is Dominic with Premium Captains, and uh, it's another day out here in uh, Fort Lauderdale, we're bringing some boats off of the cargo ship. It's kind of about a monthly thing for, for us. It's, it's fun, it's a little adventurous. It's a little bit of a hurry up and wait as well. As you can see, our boat isn't even here yet. Somebody said it's out offshore a little bit. They're waiting for the pilot to get there even after he had his coffee. <laughs> At any rate, Premium Captains is a um, captain services agency. So we're looking for great captains. Our captains are all background checked and vetted and personality profiled and, and, and more. So it's a very top shelf crew and- uh, But somehow we got through? Yeah, <laughs> somehow or other you guys got through. So either come aboard uh, at premiumcaptains.com. There's a link down at the bottom to become a premium captain or for your captain services of all types. And when you work for premium captains, That's nothing fun. but the best for their crewmates. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> what is that? Hand oh, hand sanitizer. sanitizer. All right. We can even wash our hands Thank before dinner. Have a good day. How long before we can post this social media? Took about an hour to get her all tied up, squared away so we could get on board. With over 22 ships on board, I'd have to value her right around 20 mil. That's quite a bit Boat of, money. of money. One haul. Wait, I'm gonna touch one of my hair though. So now it's time to start undoing all the ratchet straps that are holding these things down. I'm take this off. There you go. Now what? Okay. So what do you want me? So it was much easier to just throw Holly up there so that she could drop the ladder for the rest of us. These boats are off the deck quite a bit. Bob is So do I do bowl on this together? I'm not sure how to loop these together. Mm -hmm. I just put a just bowl in them. Up and leave them on deck. No, she said to tie two together. <laughs> That's me on the very top. I'm removing the boom stay so that this boat can get ready to lift. So this was the first boat to lift. She wasn't a leopard. She was just piggybacking on the ship with the rest of the leopards. Beautiful boat though, and had a really nice wrap on it. But as that boat starts to swing out, and you're the one standing on the other boat making sure that they don't hit, you start to wonder, 
what if it just barely tapped my boat? And then that boat would tap into another boat, and into another boat. But this loadmaster knew what he was doing. He had his stuff together and made it look like a breeze. Now you see the straps that were holding it down. We tied them together, and now they're on each cleat fore and aft. They're using them to guide the boat. Well, the ones on the insides anyway. We didn't know which side was going to, so we put them on all sides. And that's the loadmaster down there, making sure everything is in place and where it needs to be before the crew can get on board. So after things settled and he gets the fenders in between both the boats, then they go ahead and they tell the crew to come on on board and start checking their systems and check for leaks. And this is a top view of the 50. That's a really neat layout. I kind of like it. I'd like to be able to sail one. <laughs> My husband's looking at you like you're on crack. I got you. I tossed you up there. I'll get you again. Put that finger away. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? 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 And now with the Leopard 50 in, the Leopard crew goes down to do the same thing so that they can okay, take her ready? over to Harbor Town. Bon voyage! Thank you! And for us, the way we came in is the way we go out. Oh, yeah. Stephen Clark. You want my ID? No, 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 no. You're just good? your name. Yeah, right here. These Push two. Just These two. two. Yeah, thank you. 13 and 14. Yeah, yeah. And just like we checked in, we checked out. Just like we came up, we went down. And that was about the end of our <laughs> night. This is much better than the ladder I thought I was going to have to walk down. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this gave you a little behind the scenes look of how we get those leopards on and off these container ships.